What's good, YouTube, y'all? We back with another video, man. Before I start this video, man, I want to thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all showed me on my first video, uh, which is the gun collection video. If you haven't seen my 2021 gun collection video, go ahead, check it out. Uh, I will drop it right here on the video, man. But I went to the store, man, and I picked up something dope, something new, something I've been wanting for a long time. I actually went there to get some ammo. And when I went in there, I seen it on the wall, and I was like, yo, that's going home with me. Let me get that. You feel me? So, to start this video off, man, I'm going to show y'all what kind of case it come in. Once y'all see the case, y'all can pretty much know what it is. And I'm going to tell you anyway. So, I got the Springfield Armory St. Victor 308 pistol. You feel me? This thing is bad, man. I've been on a 308 for a long time. It wasn't even necessarily like a 308 pistol, but when I seen that they had a pistol in a 308 version, and me being me, knowing that I like loud guns and loud stuff, and I like a little rush, I went ahead and got it. So here we go right here. We got the St. Victor 308 pistol, man. Let's step back a little bit so y'all can see that thing. It is a 10 and a half or 10.3 inch barrel. Uh, man, yo, it's loud, yo, like, loud, loud, yo. But it's comfortable, and it's doable, and it's, a uh, why not? That's the main thing, why not? Uh, I haven't put no flip-up sights on it yet, uh, but I am gonna do it. But it do come with the, uh, Picatinny rails, as y'all can see. I like it up and close so y'all can actually see it. Um, they do give you, like, a little space right here with no railing, but then you do got... A little rail right at the front so you can throw you a flip up on there and i am gonna put one on the back as well they got a real nice real nice pistol grip on it yo like they did they thing with this gun man you feel me like they really did they thing this gun come with the sc tactical brace this is a pistol so it does have a brace i cannot stress that enough because people always asking a million and one questions about braces and stocks and stocks and braces but know the difference man this is a brace so this is a pistol. This can be concealed in a car, in a bag, if you got a big enough bag as your concealed weapon or your truck gun. This will be my truck gun for sure, for sure. Sometimes, if I'm ever like out in a while, even though I don't hunt or nothing like that, but I do got my babies and they like to do stuff like that. So if I ever take them out, then this bad boy definitely coming with me because this boy definitely knocking down some animals ASAP. It come with the standard uh, AR-15, trigger it says clear let me show you how it's clear not trigger uh the standard ar-15 safety is what i meant it's not ambidextrous but i do believe that you can switch it around to the other side uh it has the uh the springfield armory bolt carrier in there unless it's just stamped on it for no reason uh but it's yo this thing is nice the build on it on the inside super super high quality the only thing i would change on this is the charger handle like i told y'all before i like infodextrous charger handles uh it just feel better um this is this is like a little step up from the, the the standard it is a step up from the standard charger handle but um they could have did a little better got the little blast divert on the front or whatever you want to call it muzzle brake whatever whatever but it do help out with, with that gas when you shoot it when it come back in your face they do help with that and they did give you like the little hand stop under here you know what i'm saying to stop you from burning your hand on that muzzle brake because it's gonna get hot bro out of three shots it was hot like for real for real uh this is definitely not a gun that you can rapid fire you can do it but you're not hitting your target every time while you rapid fire and that's because like the recoil is manageable but rapidly you, it's just gonna move too much, you know what I'm saying, for you to be able to hit your target that fast. Like, when you got this thing, you all you need is one shot, whatever you're trying to do. I don't care if it's an animal or a person, whatever you're trying to do, which we don't condone, by the way. But uh, as far as like home defense, I probably wouldn't use this in a home defense situation unless I live like by myself, you know what I'm saying? So if you got kids or whatever the case may be, like I do, I would not use it in a home defense situation just because it's too loud to be like in an enclosed space like that. Now outside that is different. Um, but I got plenty of other options to choose from as far as that. Now if I stay by myself, 
then for sure I get busy with it. Like I said, because this brake, it keep it keep a lot of the noise and like a lot of the flames and gas and stuff like that. It pushes it forward, so you really don't have to deal with it as the shooter. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it was dope. It was a 308, man. Like, come on, man. Look at this. Come on, man. Go get you one. They hard to find. I ain't gonna lie. There's only one in the store. They hard to find. But go get you one, man. Look. So, this the standard. Like I said before, this the standard 5.56 five, ammo. And this is the 308. Look at that difference. Tell me y'all don't want one. Go get you a 308, man. I don't care if it's the pistol or the rifle. I originally wanted the rifle, but, you know, I seen the pistol. Everybody know I love pistol uh, version ARs. And by this being an AR-10, it's like, yo, why not? Like, I like the rush, man. I like the loudness. I don't care what nobody say. Um, I was running, this is a six-hour elite performance ammunition. Um, yo, this gun is loud, bro. Like, I was shooting it at the range, yo. And it was catching some attention, yo. Like, some for real, for real attention. Um, I didn't have nobody there with me. I had the camera on the tripod. So, I couldn't really, like, go around and get people reaction and stuff like that. So, I just did what I could do. Did enough so I can show y'all, you know what I'm saying, how it run and stuff like that, bro. But, hey, yo, look at this thing, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Go get you one. St. Saint Victor, y'all did y'all thing. Springfield Army, man, y'all did y'all thing. Yo, look at this thing, man. It, it, it do got a nice little weight on it, but by being a 308, man, you can't expect nothing, nothing less, bro. And by being a pistol, bro, like, come on, man. It's dual. Look at that mag well, yo. Well, oh, I can fit my whole hand in there. I'm gonna show y'all the magazine, bro. I'm pretty sure everybody know what the standard, like, they got 15 mag look like. Standard AR-15 mag. And this is a 308 mag. This is a 20 round mag. It do come with one 20 round mag, but the mag's cheap, bro. It's over 200 mag. I don't want no complaining. So I already paid $1,400 for a gun, and it only come with one mag. Just go get another mag, man. This gun was fourteen hundred bucks, stole about fifteen hundred after tax, uh, but it was worth every penny to me. Uh, it did come with a little standard like lock or whatever. I got a bunch of these things laying around. I probably won't ever even open that unless I'm like transferring my weapon somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like moving or something like that, which won't be no time soon. Not right now, at least. Uh, but yo, this trigger, yo, come with bad flat trigger, bro crazy like you would expect to have to buy this trigger separate and install it bro like it's a bad flat trigger and it's quick yo it is empty like i told y'all before it's quick man it is quick i was on safety and the reset it's quick man like come on man come on dog it's bad, yo. If y'all don't got one, go get one, man. The Springfield Armory St. Victor AR-10. It's loud, bro. It's loud, but it's worth it. This case, man, you got like the little straps in here to strap it down so you don't mess up like your optic and stuff like that. But come on, man, look at this. Nice bag with it. The whole nine, man. The Springfield Armory. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all really did y'all thing. Y'all really, really did y'all thing. I think I'm gonna add like a little light to it later, sometime soon. But I don't wanna do too much to it because it already got like, like nice weight on it or whatever. So I don't wanna make it too heavy. But like I said, it is manageable. The front end of the gun is just heavy, to be honest with you, just a little bit. But the back end, like by the lower and the pistol uh, grip or whatever, like this is all light, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this, it's manageable though, man. Like, it's real manageable. Like, it just, honestly, it just feel like my AR-15. I'm not gonna lie, but I expect the AR-15 to be heavy because, you know what I'm saying, like how long it is. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all some. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a fun gun, man. At first, I'm not gonna lie, my Draco was my most fun gun. I'm sorry, Draco. I love you, baby, but this is definitely my new Fun is going to shoot. I am going to take it outside just so y'all can see the difference 
when it comes to shooting this next to like an AR pistol, like 223556. You know what I'm saying? Because I know uh, y'all gonna have a lot of questions, man. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all, man, all the support and the love y'all showing me on the channel. I am new to this, man. So if anything I missed out, anything y'all want to know about the gun, feel free to drop it in the comments, man. Hit me on Instagram or whatever you got to do, man, and I will reply back. Uh, I think I replied to everybody on the last video. Uh, literally everybody. Uh, no bull crap. But, man, get y'all on, man. Get y'all one of these St. Victor AR-10s. It's gonna be a fun gun to shoot. And I'm out, man. I appreciate y'all.